A high school in Chicago, outside of Chicago, is now implementing a race-based grading system they claim is traditional grading practices perpetuate inequities. Think about this for a second. Students, depending on their race, will not be held accountable for unexcused absences or failing to do their homework, misbehaving, or being disruptive. Joining me now is a father of twins in Downers Grove High School, a nearby district to Chicago, Terry Newsom, uh, Father Newsom, the, t not Father Newsom, but Father Terry Newsom. Tell us, tell us about this new system um, where they're they're actually looking away at some of the things that would get you get you ding, probably lose lose some grade point average if you weren't a minority now in the system. Yeah, they're 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 pivoting. And Eric, you were from Chicago, I believe, right? And uh, you're probably yep. familiar with Chicago Police Department. I, I, my dad worked for the city, and they had that grading system to promote, promote police officers and firemen. I don't know if you remember that. Based on your race, you get a 90 on the score, and you have a minority that gets a 78. They get promoted first. It happened to so many of my friends, my friends' fathers. So it seems like they're now starting to apply this into the education system up in Oak Park, Illinois. Um, you know, I think um, you mentioned the, uh, the the article that came out from Oak Park uh, stating that they're going to do that. And then today they released another ar article saying they're not. But in in Illinois, most of the schools, you know, mine and Downers Grove, they look you in the face. They say we're not teaching CRT. This pornography is not pornography because it falls under uh, LGBTQ. So they released a statement saying they're not teaching it. But the PowerPoints and all the material they reviewed said they're going to be grading based on race. Yeah. So tell me about that. You, you, you sent us some information that you said these teachers in, in the suburbs of Chicago are teaching CRT, but they're claiming it's not really CRT. It's actually LGBTQ. Tell us about that. Yeah, so I have freshman twins. I've never been involved in politics. I was raised a Democrat in the southwest side of Chicago originally. And um, first board meeting I went to in August um, with other parents because I heard about all this radical stuff, and I didn't believe it. And one of, the, one of the parents asked the board, they insisted, the superintendent and the president, we are not teaching CRT. We are not teaching CRT over and over again. We have all this evidence about check your whiteness at the door, different homework assignments. I said some of the anti-police stuff to um, Alicia about uh, with the police officers, putting them in a bad light. Um, it's, it, I, I think they're getting more aggressive and emboldened because they have so much power and control in Chicago. They own the teachers union. I, you know, I, I originally was in Cook County, now we're in DuPage County, which used to be one of the reddest counties in, in the country, and let alone Illinois. It's turned blue. They all moved out here. They, they took ownership of everything. And they're just so arrogant. They feel that, you know what, they own our kids. They own the educational system. If we stand up and fight, then they come after us. They, you know, they'll dox How, us. how do they them. do that? How, they, because, because I think this is the this is the line that 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 Virginia crossed. And the parents said, you know what? We stand up, fight. They're going to they're going to come after us. They said, you know what? Screw it. These are our kids, and they fought and they fought aggressively and they won. What's it going to take? Yeah. I know, and, and Virginia is a far cry from Illinois. Illinois is probably the bl the bluest of the bl blue states in the country. Is yeah. there a way parents can stand up and fight without worrying about being them coming after them? Parents are scared. I mean, they're, they're scared. You know, we had our November board meeting on, on the pornography that you've talked about many times from genderqueer. I had big posters made up, and the parents were holding them up as I spoke. And I said, we're not anti-LGBTQ. We're not. We're anti-porn. They held these posters up. I was attacked for being, you know, anti-LGBTQ, racist, white supremacist. They went after my job. Antifa, Antifa put Twitter uh, threats about me, you know, saying I'll take a bullet to fight communism, which was a dog whistle to the rest of their folks. So parents are scared. They're, you know, um, they, you know, again, I grew up in the Southwest side a little different than some of these Republicans here in DuPage County. And it's like, we're in a war. We're losing that war. People don't even realize we're in a war. And we have to stand up and fight for our children because they started in the universities. Now they're comfortable in the high schools. Now they're going down to, yeah. to, to well, first grade kindergarten, as you know. Yeah. yeah. And it's coming at them from every direction, have, uh, from Disney, have, uh, from school, from from content uh, providers. Terry, I got to go, but thank you for the fight and, and keep us updated on when you do push back on some of that stuff. Tape that stuff and I send will. it to us. We'll, we'll get you back on and talk about it. Thank, Terry Newsom. Thank you very much. Thank you.